So, to close out the season, divisional matchup against the, um, I'm sorry, with the Packers going up against the Lions. So, this game really doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. Um, neither team's going for the playoffs. They're just looking to close out their seasons strong and hopefully carry some momentum into the next season. Yes, that's a thing. And players and coaches really do buy into it. Um, on the Packers' side, they've already done their big overhaul. They've jettisoned Mike McCarthy. They've been looking for their coach already. Um, they might hire somebody as soon as Monday. Um, a, a lot of coaches are going to be hired in the coming week. So um, I will be doing a coaching carousel video uh, midweek. So keep an eye out for that. And um, yeah, uh, the Packers just need somebody who's going to mesh well with Aaron Rodgers. Um, essentially, Aaron Rodgers is the one in control there, and he should be. He's the most talented quarterback in the league, and he just hasn't had the staff, coach, players, GM around him to create a championship caliber consistently. So he really should be in the meetings. For pulling a coach in. The front of the house, the front office staff, they, they're not going to let on that he's privy to a lot of the things that they're doing for a coaching search, uh, but if he's not involved in it, they're just fooling themselves. Um, they need him to be on the same page with the coach in order for this to work. He proved that by, as soon as Mike McCarthy left, running this offense flawlessly and uh, beating the crap out of some quality opponents. So, this is a lost season for them. They should have done so much better. They have talent on that team, on offense and on defense. They really only need a couple of roster tweaks in order to do something better. Um, getting the right coaching staff in place is going to be big. A couple of pieces, maybe even just through the draft, that can contribute would be big. And all of a sudden, the Packers are going to be turned around. So um, the biggest factor here is for the Packers to really put the foot down and um, show the younger players on that team that you close out a season strong, regardless of how you're going to end up finishing. As far as the Lions go, a um, little more to do. Now, they supposedly already have their coach, and man, did he do a number on this team. Um, you were on the verge of playoff contention, or just into playoff contention, past few seasons with Caldwell. That wasn't good enough. That, that wasn't the standard that Detroit wanted. You bring in Matt Patricia, and not too many other big changes happen. And you tank. <laughs> Hard. So, you guys need to pin down an offense that works better with Matt Stafford. I don't think uh, Jim Bob Cooter um, needs to go. I don't. Uh, I just think that um, they need a better line. They need a couple of good receiving threats. Um, Galladay is a great building block, but he can't do all of it. Um, Matt Stafford doesn't have that killer instinct at quarterback that uh, some other notable players like Drew Brees, Aaron Rodgers, and Tom Brady do obviously have. Um, so he really needs a full team around him. Um, his salary doesn't make it so you can really do that. So they might want to do something like they do in New England at least every other year and go to the quarterback and say, hey, do you want to restructure your deal so we can get some actual talent around you? That might go a long way. This defense needs to be better under Matt Patricia. That's his forte. 
It needs to be dominant. It's nowhere near that. So fix the defense. Get it to where it's supposed to be. Fix your offensive line and get maybe one or two better targets for Stafford, and you'll be good. Otherwise, next year, just like this year, you're going to be ending your season with a big fat L at the hands of your division rivals. Get it fixed, Detroit. You need to be better in this league. Um, I'll be looking at coaching and the draft in the coming videos, so keep an eye out for that. There's plenty of defensive talent in the coming draft, so your woes may be fixed pretty quickly up there. Keep the faith there in, the, uh, in Detroit. I know there's not much to hang your hat on these days, but I'm sure better times are coming.